is coming along. We just installed the lift kit on it and now it's time for the gear reduction. We've got a 54% gear reduction going in to turn these big tires. Hopefully it'll work out. We'll see. But uh, I've never done this before. We're going to install it and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to get her done. Let's go. All right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this oil line. Poor old girl. She's had a pretty rough life. We're going to have to pop that car boot too to get that head off. That cylinder. We don't lose these uh, copper washers like that one there. Where'd that go? I hide it right there. Everything goes in the box. I'm just going to put the back. Now, if you look down here, where's the light coming from? Right there. There is a, uh, a 10 mil, that's for the reverse actuator right there, that reverse lever. We're gonna pop that out and pop this out too. And that's our reverse and um, neutral indicator. We're gonna sort of make an adjustment on there so we can start this in every gear. I went in with the uh, compressed air and I blew everything out. There's still some dirt in there, um, but we'll get to cleaning that again. Nothing worse than pounding on a case when there's still one holding it. I think that should be good. Now on this case, there should be, well usually, there's a little place to put a, a screwdriver to give it a little shimmy, but maybe not. Oh, there we go. That's your start or your kick start. It just popped off the spring there. wanted that little thrust washer before it fell inside the engine there. So I got it. That's good. I'm going to take this stuff and put this off to the side and cover it because I don't want any uh, debris getting in that. Look at that. Well, how's she looking? Any metal in it? What's this? Okay, no, that's good. <laughs> I was worried there would be a big piece of metal. Where's my screen? We've got a new gasket set for this. See how that went? This little tri ball thing. Tri ball, this gizmo. That's the primary clutch. That's the secondary clutch. For as you know, we're going to change out this basket. This is a reverse threaded nut. I just want to see if there's any goo in there. Any left? No, that's pretty good. Once we get the bike off the block, Kai will have to uh, drop that oil plug just to make sure that we get the rest of the oil that's in there and uh, there might be some contaminants some little pieces of metal because it's there are there are filings in here it's been lightly abused this is actually reverse threaded so don't have your gun in reverse right that. now to get that off it might work with this let's we'll see Nah, it likes the kind of a little ding ding. Come on. Got this 
little oil shield here. Put you in there. I'll put you back. Put you back. Now this had a new timing chain put in it just before I got it, so I'm not going to bother replacing that. That wouldn't make any sense. Let's see what else we have to leave here for now. I never rebuilt one of these before or changed these baskets, so that's going to be pretty fun. So uh, I just put this socket on and it's a 12 point and uh, I hate 12 point sockets, damn it. But I should have grabbed this one here. This is that six point socket. Not only that, but this has uh, got like a chamfered edge on it and it doesn't allow the socket to get really deep onto that sort of shallow nut. So this one here is a six point. We're going to use that one instead. And I think just to make it a little better, we're going to grind this right off that little chamfered edge so it's nice and flat right across so we get right onto that baby. I don't want to bugger that nut up on there because then we're in the, into the big troubles. There, you can see what I did there. Flatten that right out. If I have to, if it starts to slip, then I'll grind that right down a little bit more. Rag. Rag. Tight. That's an old steak nut. I should maybe buy another one of those. We'll see. Now, that's going to come right off. Get that washer. Is there a washer on the back of that? It's going to stay there, whatever it is. That's going to stay right there. Now, that's not going to come past that oil pump, so we're going to have to whip that oil pump out of there, which means we're going to have to take that line out. Here. So that's sort of coming all out there. Bam. That's actually looking pretty good shape. Shaft looks good. There's a thrust washer on the back of that. Nothing else on there. All right. Well, I think I got to put these in at the same time. Yep. But you can see what happens here. See that? That's a little uh, reverse actuator. You gotta get rid of that, or it gets hung up on that gear. So, pull this back out. I'm gonna take care of that business. And they leave those pins in, eh, Kai? Yeah. I just don't know how they stay. Oh, they stay there because they're, uh, they're fatter on the back side than they are on the front. He didn't. I'll show you what I did. We ground this post down and there was still some rubbing. We could hear some grinding. And it turned out that it was this uh, washer that went behind this gear here. You can see it was just sort of, that was on there and it was scuffing that. So we took that out and now we're good to go. There's no more scuffing. And uh, you know, it was sort of binding on the oil pump as well a little bit. 
So let's see uh, how that all matches up now as well. Um, I just don't know what it's going to be like if there's that extra slop in there, but you know, we'll mess around with things and see. So we put this whole thing together and as I rotated this basket, it was knocking on something and it was this uh, little banjo bolt there hitting these, hitting those three uh, Allen screws. Allen bolt screws. So we just took down the head of that a little bit. And now she looks like she's good to go. But it was a bit of a chore to get it off because uh, we had to sort of um, work in behind to get the bolts off, but no big deal. We did it. Get her all done. Now, that should not make any noises. That's better. Whew. I think we need to put the clutch components in there. So there's a washer. Keep that there. One thing you gotta do is make sure you put this washer back inside or it'll mess things up. Some people say to pre-lube these. Other people say, no, it doesn't need to. It's a myth. Anyway, we did. Um, in, in any event, we're still going to have to lube them up. So we just dumped them in a basket of motor oil that we're going to use. These new clutch plates are available from us here at Power Mods, of course. I don't know. I just figured it'd be good to replace all these, especially since we're dealing with a bike with a pretty old clutch and setup in it. Kind of makes sense to me. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know if it was it ever slipping, Kai? Not really, eh? Okay, well that's good then. There we go. Clutch is right there. There is this washer here. Um, and it says outside written on it, so that means this goes to here. And we've got a nut. Not if that's the one. That's definitely not the one. This will be the one. Uh, that's a steak nut. So it's got a high edge on it, little rim. You can see somebody's already staked it at one point. Hopefully we can reuse this one again. I mean, technically we should have bought a new one to put on here, but we didn't. She's an oily job, man. I'm not gonna lie. We'll stick that down. We're going anywhere. Oh, that's it. Put little uh, markings on these clutch baskets where they're all supposed to line back up again. Nah, I didn't. I don't know if it's that important uh, for this one, but uh, we'll find out. I think we're going to be all right. primary part. Look, we'll take a look at it. You can see the uh, material here that's used to sort of stop that or to start it. Um, and now we're on bare metal. So we're going to have to get a new one of these. And we might as well get one of those one-way bearings at the same time. So this is your reverse lever. You need to start. I, I did it. I can't get it off now. So you need to start it in that hole and just pry that spring up over top of it. And then it's going to contact that little gauge, that little uh, cam right there. You see that cam? That's it. There's a little punch mark on that. And then there's a little arrow right there. See that? That lines up with that. There's a spring. Needs to go over top of that. See that? And we need to preload. I 
could do that with the Kickstarter. That's not where it goes. Is it? That's it. That Makes sense? Put that baby on, now we have to put the screen back in. The screen only goes on one way. Can you see the wedge on that? Yeah. See it's wedged this way? No? Yeah, that's the way it goes. Just put some oil on that. Uh, there's a bearing that goes inside this clutch basket here, or this clutch uh, drum. And it actually says outside on it. So you gotta make sure that you put this in the right way. It's a one-way bearing actually. Just like this clutch basket here, this uh, this washer goes on and it says outside on it. It's a bit of a cone washer. It's a cone head washer. We did order another nut for this, but I can't find it. So that's just gonna be too bad. Oh, it goes the other way, right? No, yeah, it does. 27 mil and this is, uh, Wrap that on. It wrapped on good. Nice. There we go. It's the last time that nut gets used. So apply some grease in there and you can see that there's a little a little socket kind of dealy. Pull that out. Goes in there. And this little ball with the spring points backwards. In there like that. The little dowels hold this gasket in place. Just like that. I'm just gonna apply grease on it here. How many seals? See that? All right, we're gonna put this reverse lever back on. You just feed it in here. I don't know, you could, I guess, I suppose you could do it on the bike, but we're gonna do it right here. One thing you can do that we discovered while we were doing this was if you want to keep this gasket from falling down, just put the case on a little bit, then start threading all the bolts through the holes in the gasket and it'll pull on just perfectly. Uh, otherwise you, you might pinch the gasket. We didn't do that. We got lucky, but you know, they're kind of a, it's a long rounded goofy one. So anything's possible. There you go. I never noticed this before, but check this out. This little, these little plugs here, N, R, neutral, reverse. So what we're gonna do is, we're actually gonna cut this here and put a uh, little heat shrinkable fitting on it. We're just gonna ground it out because I hate that neutral safety switch on there. It drives me crazy. So we're gonna get rid of that. So we just checked this as well. We put it in reverse and uh, just use the Kickstarter and the wheels turned in reverse. So that's a good thing. We're gonna install this oil filter. There's really only one way for this oil filter to go in. Well, there's two. You might be able to jam it in the wrong way. Yeah, you probably could. And then, uh, could you? No, you can't on this one. Well, that's good. They make it so you can't. Sometimes in the old days, you used to be able to jam a filter in the wrong way and then you'd run into issues because you wouldn't get any oiling. This little spring goes in the back. Replace that O-ring, place the O-ring on here. Goes there. There we go, clutch installed, gear reduction installed. Not too much else to do, man. We gotta get this uh, carburetor in, hook up our new exhaust, throw the wheels on this baby, then we're gonna take it for a rip. Thanks for watching as usual, make sure you subscribe, 
Give me a big old thumbs up and hit that notification so you keep getting more videos. We got a lot more coming out on this baby. Thanks for watching. Boy, that was fast. And no grinding. <laughs>